Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Seth Geis. How are you doing, Seth? Doing really well. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, nice doing a kind of a couples review with you. It is. A little, a little more intimate. So Yeah, it is. We're just, yeah. and we're touching on, we're touching on some brands, which are fun to touch are fun to touch that sounded really bad <laughs> <laughs> they're fun to touch it's we talk about these brands from time to time so yep. not not in a positive we'll, we'll we'll get there yeah so today we are talking about the villager taa 2021 exclusive uh cigar the toro extra 6x54 uh comes out of the tobacco la palma factory in the dominican republic uh, rappers Ecuadorian Habano, by and filler both from the Dominican Republic. Uh, it is blended by Hochi Blanco. Uh, price point is nine dollars and fifty cents, and the cigar was released in July of two thousand and twenty-one. Uh, so, with all that out of the way, Seth, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? You know, to, to begin with, it's it's really nice looking cigar. I really like the wrapper on this. Um, Hochi, God, that's a good. Hochi always does a good job of of having really good looking rappers that just smoke terribly. Um, <laughs> so, and I think I actually did have, I had some, I had a draw issue. Burn was actually pretty good on this one. I think that's a surprise. Um, but in terms of the first third, cinnamon, red pepper, I was getting some coffee and graham cracker. Um, there's some wooden cream notes. It was, it was really enjoyable first third. Um, and that kind of, and then when I get into the second third, I was getting some more herbal hay, leather, dry wood. Um, there were some nutty qualities. Um, and that kind of continued into the final third. It had a, it was more medium in strength and body. It wasn't over the top for me. But even I always feel with like Hochi's blends that they just kind of linger on your palate for a while. Um, but yeah. That's uh, what I said. Yeah, medium strength and body, very good burn, which I think was just, if I recall, looking back over my notes, I was shocked about that one. Um, and a decent draw. What about you? Yeah, for me, the cigar started with uh, musty and light creamy cedar and baking spice. Um, as it progressed, some chalkiness joined in as the creaminess and the baking spice kind of faded out at various points. And the cedar gained an increasing toastiness as it kind of went along. Uh, construction was perfect for me, so that's nice to see. Um, but overall, the flavor profile of the cigar was pretty average. Um, cigar never really brought an interesting flavor profile. Um, just one that's, you know, kind of easily found in many cigars that are out there on the market. So not something I really kind of see myself coming back to, but, um, you know, not, nothing off putting. It's, it's just a kind of run of the mill cigar that can be, you know, you can pick up anytime. Um, getting the scores, I'm the high score, 5.75, uh, Seth gave it a 5.35. So, um, my score matches well, uh, average flavor profile, perfect construction. That's kind of, you know, dead on for that 5.75 mark. Um, you know, price points under 10 bucks. So it's not, um, it's not bad. You know, definitely if you come across it, I'd say pick it up. If you, if you like stuff out of, uh, tobacco or Palma, give it a shot. If you like villager stuff, give it a shot. Um, it's not going to break the banks to give it a try. So, all right, Seth, 5.35. Yeah. I mean, the only, I, I, I was a little bit my burn and draw were not as good as yours, but my experience was pretty much identical with yours. It's average. It's a good price point. It's kind of, it's a good price point for any cigar. It's really good price point for a TA, yeah. but it's just really, I remember looking at my notes for some reason. I thought that doing a wrapper change on this would be beneficial. Mm -hmm. um, and I even, you know, I probably said Connecticut. Oh, I did say Connecticut, which, you know, what a surprise, but yeah. I don't know. I just, you know, changing it up maybe might have helped it out a little bit yeah i mean uh like you said good price point for a ta especially uh but kind of kind of goes along with kind of what we've been talking about on ta is just not something not bringing something to the table that really jumps out at yeah. you that you think special and kind of should fit what the ta model i think is what they think that they're supposed to be bringing to the table so yeah uh, a bit unfortunate um, all right. If you just catch this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. Also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts. So iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.